Thank you. My name is Robert Rowling. I've been a member, a resident here for almost 25 years. I've had two kids graduate from high school here. I have three grandchildren in the school district and three more to come. So you say, why am I here? Well, over the last six to eight months, I've been shocked to see what's going on in the Highland Park School District. I won't spend any time on CRT. Our pre previous speakers did plenty of that. I will say, however, that both the House and the Senate of Texas have passed bills banning it. It'll be signed into law by the governor in a week or two. Mr. Whelan, you and I can be the enforcers uh, to make sure this district carries out state law. My first introduction to the wokeness of our district came from my granddaughter. When she came home and I asked her how her Columbus Day was, she said, Pop, there is no Columbus Day. It's called Indigenous Peoples Day. I said, where did you hear that? She said, that's what they told me at school. I said, it's not Columbus Day? Well, let me have, I have news for you. Two states have adopted Indigenous Peoples Day. Texas is not one of them. It's still Columbus Day. Why are we teaching our kids that it's Indigenous Peoples Day in our classrooms? The second thing, and, and I, I say all these things quickly because I only have a couple of minutes. I say all these things to show you it's not just one thing, it's multiple, multiple things. Um, so that was the first. The second one was the reading list that I got a copy of. Here you go. This is a reading list in October to our kids, recommended reading list. Now look at this book. Big book, from, it's in October before the election. Book on Kamala Harris. I don't see a book on this reading list promoting Mike Pence, just Kamala Harris. Isn't that strange? Then I find out that Highland Park is a member of the Center for Justice and Racial Education. And let me tell you what they stand for. People of color have been historically disenfranchised due to systemic racism. You know, there are thoughtful black people like Ward Connerly, uh, Thomas Sal, who completely disagree with that. Why is Highland Park a member of that organization? And finally, along with this reading list recommended, this book's called Dear Justice. Dear Justice. Now, if you have any doubt if it's in our Highland Park library, here's a picture we take in the library of our middle school with a big red stamp promoting it as recommended reading. And now, since you're promoting this to our middle school kids, I'm sure you won't mind if I read a few passages. I mean, after all, it's in the first, this is the first chapter, keep in mind. How about this? He takes a few unnecessary turns and route to his destination in case Olaf, that's what Carl calls his mama's duck ass boyfriend. Keep in mind this is for fifth graders. My mom's boyfriend is an asshole. Oh, how about this one? Get in the goddamn van. Or this one. I'm not even gonna lie, this shit is weird. Or these. Those assholes can't seem to care about being offensive, so why should I give a damn about being agreeable? I don't know what it is, but that shit really got me. Get the idea? You know what, Dr. Trey, wherever you are, you've been here for six years. You're either complicit or you're asleep at the switch. In either case, it's time for you to go. This is ridiculous. I hope Highland Park trustees and the new ones that have been elected will use some common sense and restore integrity to the Highland Park school system. Thank you.